Hey everyone, Pastor Dave here. I am recording this podcast directly from my home, so through the airwaves, welcome to my home. I'm really excited to welcome all of you to our week of prayer and fasting. And to go ahead and grab your coffee, your water, whatever you're doing, uh, make sure that you make some space uh, to hear from God this week. Uh, Today, I just want to open us up with a word of prayer. And uh, before we do that, I just want to remind you that uh, we are praying with you. And we want to know what you're praying about. Whatever's on your heart, we want to be praying alongside of you. And if you're kind of looking for a a spiritual path for this week as you're praying, I really want to highlight for you Hebrews 10.23. If you have your Bible app, if you have a paper Bible, you can highlight this verse as well, Hebrews 10.23. We're going to be coming back to this verse again and again. It is what it says, Let us hold tightly without wavering to the hope we affirm. For God can be trusted to keep his promise. I'm going to read that one more time. Let us hold tightly without wavering to the hope we affirm. For God can be trusted to keep his promise. That's a good verse. And what I love about this verse is that it highlights the character of God. So many times we can get caught up in what we lack and what we're trying to achieve that we miss out on this key idea that at at the core of prayer and at the core of our lives, it's really all about God. It's about His promises. It's about who He is. And uh, we really are trying to take the focus off of ourselves and off of our, you know, insecurities, our shortcomings. And we're just trying to say, God, we believe you. Whatever you say, we know that you cannot lie. We know that your word is true, and we're going to hold on to those promises, even when the going gets tough, even when we're going through hardships, through doubts, through seasons of insecurity, through seasons of pain. Whatever it is, we're not going to let anything hold us back anymore, and we're just going to trust you, and we're going to make room for you. So if you're just joining us uh, for the first time, if you're new to this, listen, uh, there's no way you could possibly mess it up. Other than to just not do it. But if if your heart is willing, it's really simple. It's whatever floats your boat. What I mean by that is you simply want to make room for God. And if you're a person that likes to just sit in quiet and contemplate, go ahead and do that. If you like to kick on a playlist and, uh, you know, just uh, pace around the room and pray. If you like to pray out loud. If you like to journal and do it quietly. If you like to jog with Jesus. If you want to have coffee with Jesus. If you want to go uh, into the woods and speak to him. Uh, God understands and he knows our hearts. And so you don't have to worry about doing it wrong. If you're willing, you can't do it wrong. If you're at the grocery store, listen, the Holy Spirit will find you wherever you are. So uh, don't worry. And just pray along and see what God would do. And just open yourself up and say, God, whatever you want to do this week, I'm here. I'll meet with you. Will you meet with me? And I guarantee you, God will show up because he's promised to do that. He said, come close to me and I'll come close to you. And that is his promise. So I can't wait to get started This entire week, again, I'm releasing a new prayer podcast each and every day. So join me. Uh, Right now, I just want to end in prayer. You can join me as well as we hand this time over to God. God, we want to thank you for this prayer and fasting week. God, we need you. We need you in our lives. And we're asking you to come and meet us in this time of prayer whatever we're going through, whatever circumstances surround us. God, we set that aside now to say that we need you and we believe you. God, and if there's anything in us that is struggling, help us in our unbelief because it's about you. God, you said to Abraham, I am El Shaddai, I am God Almighty. And we believe that. We believe that you are powerful. You're the God who makes a way where there is no way. You're the God who removes stones. And God, we believe that you're a living God. Thank you for being such a generous God. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me today. We'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.